Okay, so we're going to reprogram a switch real quick. Um, this is the tablet. Um, my gosh, uh, if you do not, ha if you have a large building and this is all you have to control your or to set your system, my heart breaks for you. Um, that interface is not perfect, but it is so much better than this. Um, so I have right here, this is my quick little sketch of that room. This switch number here, I just I just reprogrammed this switch. This one here um, is switch number uh, 025, and I'm going to reprogram it. Currently, it's turning on the lower deck can lights, the upper deck can lights, and the front porch can lights. When I come over here to my, uh, I guess, my description page, and I want to look for my... Um, Front, my upper deck can lights I found here uh, the description is front porch and upper deck can lights they're both controlled off of relay number 11 so I can't I can't have a switch back here just turn on the upper deck upper deck it's going to control the upper deck and the front porch unfortunately so I'm going to reprogram it to where it only turns on switch number 11 and does not turn on the lower deck can light so at least I can I can um, take some of that off and then I'll probably go down and I'll add a I'll add a switch to do the lower deck can lights but so what we're doing right now is we're going to go to switch number 25 and we're going to reprogram switch number 25 to control only a single relay relay number 11 so um, let's say yes so this is what pops up um, we're going to go to system inputs and we're going to do switch station and this is first gen technology on the touch screen um, we are going to program a switch station um, and this is where it gets really frustrating so you literally you can't hold this down you have to individually go down over and over and over again um, I don't think they sell an upgraded tablet. Um, I was told that these right here are a thousand dollars a piece. Don't know if that's true. Probably is. There's only one place to get them. They can charge you what they want. All right. So now we are at switch number. Oh, going to switch number twenty-five. And once again, you would get that code from the uh, the dials inside the switches. Um, I went over that in an earlier video. I think it was switch station uh, swap out or something. But so now we're at switch station number 25. We hit OK. All right, and we are going to um, name switch input. Don't care. Switch uh, input type. Not going to do it. We're going to map the switch input. Okay. Um, and this right here, if there was more than one switch, so if you had a like a switch that had three buttons on it, then you would have switch one, switch two, switch three. Um, this is currently a switch one. It is a push button on and off, so it's just a basic toggle switch. There's other settings you can get into. That's where the whole book comes in um, in programming these things. So we're just doing switch number one, and we are going to first we're going to map the on from that toggle switch, so we're matching on and we're going to map it to a single relay and this right here is select relay panel so you can actually sync all your relay panels together um, I'm not sure why you would do that but this is basically uh, I don't know I guess so you can control everything from one room but each we don't have our sync together so we're just in this building here and we are going to go on down to relay number 11 top deck can lights and you can see here the descriptions I didn't put these descriptions in that's another big pet peeve of mine is you 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 only get so many characters um, and they're never enough to actually give yourself if somebody new coming in to this facility after me is gonna have no clue what half this means so that's where this right here really comes into play because uh, you can get a much better description of what things are and how to control them and then you can actually program your panels um, so that like I said start with start with this before you do anything all right and then we're just going to hit okay and it's going to save it to the network all right and now we're going to map a single remember we're still in push button on action so we're going to go back to 
Now it's same toggle, uh, switch station number 25, switch one, um, and we're gonna do toggle map switch off action. Uh, map to a single relay. And okay. Nope. Uh, okay. And we gotta go back down to number 11. I have one of these tablets. I keep this one separate from the other. Each building has its own tablet, but one of the tablets um, started to crap out on me, and you would get about six six button pushes before it would just freeze up. Um, very irritating. All right, okay. So now, um, I've already programmed switch number 21. Um, switch number 25 is programmed, so. Um, that should take care of those. Um, that switch in that upper lounge turning on, turning on and off the lights on the lower deck. Uh, there's just so many little things with these systems, and, and you know, the electrician. If you had never put one of these in, I couldn't imagine trying to bid this job. I mean, you would literally spend, my goodness, you could spend a week um, after you hook everything up, just sitting in and, and programming everything to do what you want. So, um, especially since this is your only control. Um, uh, I'll, I might take one later on um, when I'm not on the clock about um, setting up schedules and groups um, but uh, it's all in the book read the book but hopefully this helps somebody um, what I'm going to do right now is well, I got y'all captive audience um, so I currently have two switch stations up here these are two toggle button switches each and two of these control the fans under this lower deck and then two of them control the lights in here so I take it back so two of these control fans two of these control lights so I don't actually have a toggle switch here for the can lights that are out there under this porch so I'm actually going to take one of these switch stations out and I'm going to put in a three button toggle, toggle switch and use that third button here to actually control those can lights there underneath the deck and another cool thing so what i also have still now i still have saw so i have toggle switches upstairs to control the upper deck lights and lower deck lights i have the toggle switch down here that's going to control just the lower deck can lights but i have a master switch here all this does right here it controls all of my exterior can lights cuts them all off upper deck lower deck everything the idea being a staff member can come out kick these on if we need them they all come on so all the exterior can lights work off this and now they're going to work on different locations like your standard wiring of a house and then i also have a schedule in my system that i showed you guys earlier that brings those on and off independently from someone actually coming out here and turning them on and turning them off so these systems do give you a lot of options um and I can see how they, you know, they, they can be appealing to facilities. And I mean, it is it is nice to have it. Um, we are not putting these in the new bunk buildings we're, we're, we're building. I have these. I have four systems in these four lo uh, lodges. And then I also have one more, or maybe two more systems out on our island. So, but like I said, I don't I don't think they're planning on putting any more of these in. And like I said, too, Hubble is discontinuing this whole product line. And um, we don't even know how much longer you're going to be able to get parts for these. I had one of these get flooded, and we had to replace the whole panel. And I think it was 1,800 bucks for that panel. Um, and uh, anyway, but uh, hope that helps somebody.